What's up everybody? Welcome back. Main boat guy here. We are going to be pulling off Alpha 1 Gen 2 Outdrive Mercruiser. Um, actually this one as you can see tags on the side. This is a SEI drive. Um, I don't know how old the drive is but I've already got some got some leakage issues dumping gear oil um, customers complaining of it using quite a bit of gear oil throughout the season so we're gonna pull her apart do a vacuum pressure test which you've seen in my other video if you haven't check it out um, we're gonna find the seals that are bad and uh, we're gonna reseal it probably end up doing a complete reseal um, We'll see once we get her taken apart, but this video right here is just going to be pulling the drive off. So first thing I've done is put the controls in forward gear um, and then leave it in forward gear. It's going to get the, the shift linkage at the right point so when you slide the drive off it's not jammed up. First thing is to put it into forward gear. And then we'll pull these, pull the trim pistons. couple different ways you can do it. Um, you can take it off, slide the trim pistons right up out of the way when you're reinstalling the drive. It does make it a heck of a lot easier putting everything back together. And the last guy who did this didn't put washers back in, so we'll be getting some washers. Maybe we'll do this and it will be easier for us. usually always the washer behind the behind the e-clip and then be careful the bushings you don't lose the plastic bushings zip tie them in or something depends how long you're gonna have the drive off and then the ground tab for the for the zincs um, keeping everything grounded together You don't want to put it together without those. You will start chewing things apart if you don't have the bushings in there. And then you've got six bolts, five eighths. Um, and also, I guess before you take the trim pistons off, you can trim the drive up to pull the speedometer hose. Because it'll make it easier than trying to reach in there and pull it like I just did. If you're inspecting gimbal bearing or anything like that, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to pull it apart. A lot of guys want to know if their gimbal bearing's any good without taking anything apart. And it's just... Besides if you're in the water and you can hear it, I mean, there's obvious ways to tell. Um, universal joints if you turn the, the wheel hard port or hard starboard and give a little bit of throttle if you get vibrations or noise, chances are the universal joints are bad. If you get a constant humming sound which most people don't even realize because they're listening to the engine run um, that would be a gimbal bearing but the best way to test all the stuff is to pull the out drive out drive should come off I usually do once a year I'd like to but most people don't want to pay for it so every couple years so that the time you do need to take the drive off and everything will come out of it all the bolts will come off and the drive will just slide right out had quite a few that drives had never been off and it can be a pain in the ass to get them off once that happens. I don't typically work in water but 
stupid me was running an engine right outside my my instant garage here and wasn't paying attention that the water was flowing right in here. So I'm get this drive off and get out of the get out of the puddle. All these studs should have washers on them, especially on a True Merc Cruiser, there's a grounding tab on one of them that doesn't have a washer, so you'll only have five washers. That's another reason why I do not like aftermarket outdrives. It's the original washer, and it's not enough room for the washer to come out. on aftermarket is not quite as quite the same as uh, when Mercruiser does it. Obviously the aftermarket companies they have to go on other things like taking an engine or a drive and then trying to make it to specs. All right if it's been off before drive will typically slide right out. If not, you can just give it a good lift up and down until it slides out. And then be careful of the, the drive shaft and the shifter. She is stuck. So now we can do an inspection of the, the gimbal baron. Typically put a glove on because you're going to get greased out. And then just spin it and this one is smooth. And then uh, I guess when we put it back on I'll do a video on installing it and uh, doing the engine alignment, checking the engine alignment before we slide it back in. So. I am going to get this drive apart and pressure test it and see what the hell is leaking. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.